This is Mojo from Predict Wall Street and Trade with Mojo from the YouTube. I have buy and sell points for you on EN, ER, and this is May 13th, 2008. Okay, let's get started. I have another heads up play here for you. We can see we were about right here around 36 and now we're up there. We're about at 55. We're up about 55%. And we can see here in the past we've had a few uh, MC alerts. Here's one in early February. Here's another one a little bit later. Here's one in March. Oh goodness sakes, probably about March 5th. Here's another one in April. And here's the last one right here. That's probably about uh, May 3rd. We had the last this one here didn't come down to 65, but anything over 65, extremely bullish. Um, it tops out about at 90. We're at 88.01. We have the stochastics. That's opening up. That's, that's really bullish. That's great. We have the stochastics here. The slows at 69.41 and the fast is at 99.61. They'll pull back a little bit like it did here. That's fine. It's still running up. Um, it runs up in here. You can see here it hits about 80. It's its normal trading pattern. Uh, gets up in about 80 and then it goes down in the 20. So you can see the, the memory uh, the stock has. And currently the money flow is running up as it should be. Okay, let's take a look at the 15 minute chart. Okay, let's get started here on the 15 minute chart. We can see today, we went right up here, this first red line here, this first red line here right there is today's R2, which is uh, 5507. And we can see we went over it just a little bit. We have some of these uh, shooting stars. Um, that's a little bit on the bearish side, but not bad. Um, we still have the last candle here, still is not bad. Uh, the lower indicator, we have the MC at 7204, which is bullish. Anything over 65 is doing great. We have the stochastics fast is going up. It changed directions here. We're at 9244, which is bullish. We have the stochastics slow, starting to drift down a little bit, but the fast will pull it up a little bit. And we have the money flow picking up again over the baseline. And that's what we like to see. Now we know we had about a 55% gain the last few days. And we got to keep in mind uh, this will be the play probably for the next, uh, probably for tomorrow. We have an R1 short target of 5624. So if it goes up to the R1 and you start seeing these shooting stars like this right here. If you start seeing this, that would be the time to short it. Now, if it goes up to the R2, the second red line right here, that would be our target for right now because of these lower indicators. At 57.29, that should be the place to short it. And we have our first target here. We will test, not tomorrow, probably in the next few days, we'll start testing again the EMA 50. And currently, right now, and that will drift up some too, but currently, that's sitting at 52.43. And our second solid target here is this 51.78. This one here has been tested a few times, and that's where our target is right there. But the more telling part of this is right here, we have the MAC is starting to pull back a little bit and that's what we got to keep an eye on if we got red on top they'll put the water on the rest of these fires in a hurry so let's take a look at that um, uh, pivot point calculator and i'll show you how i got these numbers here for the top for tomorrow morning okay Let's get started here with the calculator now this is what we want to keep an eye on for is one of these bearish um, candles. Uh, it could happen tomorrow or the next few days. Now I already inputted the highs and lows for today. Then we're going to hit the calculator button. Then we can see today's, or I'm sorry, tomorrow morning's pivot point is 5425 
and we closed at 55.20. So we're over the pivot point. So the stock's bullish. And here is our selling point. If we hit the R3, R2, R1, that's what we're looking for. We're looking at for one of these candles at one of these prices. And if it hits it on that line, that's a good place to short it. And we could run it back down or, or you know, see if it's going to test that 50-day uh, EMA.